Stephen Percy Harris born 12 March 1956 is an English rocker who is the bassist, keyboardist, backing vocalist, primary songwriter and founder and leader of heavy metal band Iron Maiden. He has been the band's only constant member since their inception in 1975 and along with guitarist Dave Murray, the only member to appear on every album. Harris was born on 12 March 1956 at Whips Cross University Hospital in Leytonstone then part of Essex, where he grew up aspiring to be a professional footballer. Scouted by Wally Street Pier, Harris was asked to train for West Ham United. After gaining an interest in rock music in his early teens, he realized that he no longer desired to play football professionally. In particular he was greatly influenced by the Beatles. Harris attended Leighton Senior High School for Boys where he studied architecture. Initially Harris wanted to play drums, but did not have enough space for a drum kit in his house and so decided on the bass instead. Entirely self-taught, his first bass was a copy of a Fender Precision model which cost him £40 in 1971. Just 10 months after he bought his first bass Harris joined a band, initially known as Influence and later Gypsy's Kiss, featuring Bob Verscoyle lead vocals, Dave Smith guitar and drummer Paul Sears. After a short number of gigs at the Cart and Horses pub in Maryland Point, Stratford and the Bridge House in Canning Town, the band split up and Harris auditioned for a band called Smiler in February 1974. In this outfit Harris began writing his own songs and worked with future Iron Maiden members Dennis Wilcock and Doug Sampson, but left the band after they refused to play his material claiming it was too complicated. A highly touted soccer player in his youth, he gave up his sporting career to pursue his musical aspirations forming Iron Maiden in 1976. Though the group's 1979 debut EP The Soundhouse Tapes reflected their punk inspirations, their self-titled 1980 full-length fully embraced metal earning a top five hit at home. Harris composed much of Maiden's material, drawing upon mythology and the occult to write hard rock epics like The Rime of the Ancient Mariner, Children of the Damned and The Number of the Beast. The 1981 edition of vocalist Bruce Dickinson further solidified the band's position at the forefront of the new wave of British heavy metal and throughout the 1980s, Iron Maiden enjoyed a huge following at home and abroad despite almost no mainstream media attention. Although Dickinson's 1991 departure proved a severe blow to the band's popularity, they soldiered on with new vocalist Blaze Bailey until Dickinson returned to the lineup in 1999, in time to celebrate Iron Maiden's 20th anniversary. Upon leaving Smiler Harris went on to create Iron Maiden on Christmas Day 1975, with the band's name being inspired by the film The Man in the Iron Mask. Before Iron Maiden signed their contract with Emmy in 1979, Harris worked as an architectural droughtsman in the East End of London until he was made redundant at which point he undertook a job as a street sweeper. Since their inception Harris has been the band's principal composer and lyricist, his songwriting typically showcases his trademark galloping bass patterns which features heavily in songs such as The Trooper and Run to the Hills, and his progressive rock-influenced time changes. Later Harris songs became more progressive and guitarist Adrian Smith has commented that Harris now prefers contributing lyrics and melodies and arranging to other members' songs over writing alone. Harris frequently writes lyrics about mythology, history or topics inspired from books and films, reflecting his interests and progressive rock influences. In September 2012 Harris released his first solo album British Lion. Originating with a band named British Lion, which he managed and wrote with in the early 1990s, Harris kept in touch with its vocalist Richard Taylor and guitarist Graham Leslie, and the album consisting of 1970s-influenced hard rock songs, was written and recorded over a number of years around Iron Maiden's tour schedule. Speaking to Kerrang! in September 2012, Harris stated that he considers the record to be more of a side project than a solo album, as he is more comfortable in a band environment. In an interview with Classic Rock in August Harris stated that he will be releasing more solo albums and hopes to tour with the band in the future. 
Harris has taken the outfit on two separate European club tours in 2013 and 2014 with an additional tour taking place in 2016. On 2 September 2016 Harris announced that he intends to issue a live album recorded at shows from across the three tours. Their second album titled The Burning was released on 17 January 2020. Harris' eldest daughter, Lauren is a singer and classically trained actor who supported Iron Maiden with her solo outfit in 2006 and 2008. In 2008 she released a solo album entitled Calm Before the Storm, and is currently a member of a band called Kingdom of Eye after forming Six Hour Sundown. In addition Harris' oldest son George plays guitar in a band The Raven Age, who were the opening act on Iron Maiden's The Book of Souls World Tour in 2016, and also in the Legacy of the Beast Tour 2019. In 1993, Harris was divorced from his wife psychotherapist Lorraine Jury, whom he met 16 years previously. Since the 1980s Harris has owned a Grade 2 listed building in Shearing, Essex, in the grounds of which he built his own recording and editing studio Barnyard. In November 2012 the nine-acre property was put on sale.